Hey, what's up guys? Brian Savage here with you. Um, wanted to do a quick video on uh, something that happened. Um, I purchased some strings from an online retailer. and I think the online retailer is going to remain nameless right now because there's no need to say anything negative about anybody, not my bag. I'm not going to do that. But anyway, I purchased a, a three-pack of uh, Ernie Ball Super Slinky 9s. And uh, nines and tens, uh, actually I use uh, the slinky heavy bottoms, it's tens and a heavier E string and uh, I use super slinky nines on uh, my strats and like I said I used a little heavier gauge on my Les Pauls. Anyway, I bought a three pack of super slinkies and all three packs were, strings inside were rusted. Now I've been using Ernie Ball strings for, oh gosh now, going on 30 years, uh, 30 plus years actually, and I've never had that issue, ever. I've never had a problem with the strings, I've never had uh, issues with excessive breaking, you know, I've used a bunch of different strings, and there's a lot of good brands out there. Um, I like the NYXLs that Diodario put out. Um, I, I got to try a set of clear tones and those were some really good strings as well but you know I, I change my strings a lot once a week probably I change my strings but I'm also playing three nights a week and playing it every day so um, <clears throat> it uh, anyway the strings were rusted inside the package and I contacted the online retailer and they told me to contact Ernie Ball now first off I don't agree with that I don't agree that that is Ernie Ball's issue. I believe, you know, if I bought a toaster from a department store and the toaster didn't work, I'd take it back to the department store, right? Well, that's how I felt, but apparently not. Uh, so I contacted Ernie Ball through, uh, through an email going through the contact us section of their website. Uh, they contacted me back the very next day. I told him the issue um, and explained the whole situation to him and through an email, short, sweet email. And uh, they emailed me back and asked if, uh, you know, you know, apologize for the situation that sometimes things happen in manufacturing and da 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 da. And hey, I get that. Like I said, 30 plus years I've been using them, I've never had an issue. So um, I don't put this on Ernie Ball. I believe this is more something the I my feelings are is that the online retailer had uh, packs of strings that had been sitting in their warehouse for years and unfortunately they sent me three of them um, so that's my but that's a guess but anyway Ernie Ball said you know hey you know we apologize things like this can happen in the manufacturing process you know um, they got a good quality control but sometimes things slip through which I don't believe that to be the case you can't expect strings you know depending on how long it is and you think these major online retailers they could have strings that were sitting there that they thought they were out of stock on or wanted to get rid of that had been sitting there for years and I don't believe you could hold the manufacturer of that string company accountable for a package of strings that's been sitting in warehouse probably unclimate controlled for years to be rusted inside but anyway, Ernie Ball did. They, they, they took it right on the chin, apologized for the inconvenience, asked me to send them my address. Uh, before, I had actually I took a video of me opening up a pack of them, showed that the pack was still sealed, and uh, when I opened it up and the strings inside it were rusted. And I, I sent them that video. They asked if I would either send them the video or pictures or just send them the strings, and I sent them a video that I'd shot of it. Um, and no, I'm not going to post that video. I don't post negative things. Although this is kind of negative about an online retailer. Not doing what they should have done. But it, I want it to really be a positive thing about Ernie Ball. Because today in the mail, which is four days after I've started the email correspondence with them. And I live in Kentucky from California. I received a package with three brand new packages of string to replace all of them that I had purchased that were faulty. And again, I believe them to be faulty, not at the, I don't believe it was the manufacturer. I don't think, I don't hold Ernie Ball accountable for it. I don't think it's their fault. You know, I think that they manufacture a good product. And like I said, 
Yeah, if it was something that happened with Ernie Ball, it'd be something I would have ran into now, but I've never ran into it before. And like I said, 30 plus years of using their stuff. Um, so again, not a ding on Ernie Ball. I want this to be a positive for them because they really took care of me. They were kind and gracious. They were expedient in their replies and they did something they didn't have to do. And that's they made it right with me, the customer, when really it was the responsibility and the way things go, as we all know, it was the responsibility of the retailer to make that right. And you know what? And truthfully, I can't blame the online retailer. It's my own fault. And it's my fault because at the time, I was ordering some things that I could not purchase uh, at a local shop. The, the local shops didn't carry the equipment that I was after. Um, and so when I did that, I went ahead and threw three packs of strings in there with the order. And that was my fault. I should have went down to my local music shop and bought the strings there. And because I guarantee you, when I opened up a pack and I took them back down there to them and they were rusted, I would have got three new packs of strings right then and there. Um, and I could have done that. And I should have. So that's on me. I, again, if you can buy local, please buy local. I don't care if you're going to save 50 bucks buying it online. Spend the extra 50 bucks because that 50 bucks is going into the tax pool where you live to fix your roads, to upgrade your community, to pay the employees to come and pick up your garbage and city workers and all those kind of things that taxes pay for. And not only that, you're helping out somebody that lives in your neighborhood, keeping a business alive. And when you can shop local, you have someone locally you can deal with that can help you out when issues like this arrive. So, I've ranted long enough. I want to say a big shout out. Thank you very much to everyone at Ernie Ball and the customer service department. You guys are excellent. I love your products from your guitars to your basses to your strings and other accessories. I've used them for years. I enjoy them and I believe them to be a high quality, high quality stuff. Uh, and again, buy local if at all possible, guys. Share the music. Share the love. Peace out.